35. Uh, those of you just joining, please mute your mics. Uh, also, in the lower right hand of your screen, you'll see the chat option. Please select the chat for any questions that you may have. Uh, presenting today is myself. My name is Jose Orozco. I'm the project manager on this project. Uh, this project is the Glencrest Civic League Area Street Improvements. It is a 2022 bond year two, contract nine, city project number 104242. Also on the call, we have some council members. Um, we have uh, council member Ariano and council member Martinez. Um, either one of you welcome to say hi. Hi, good evening, everybody. Good evening, Jose. Um, just here to hear about the project and what it will consist of. I do uh, realize that it is uh, in Council District 8 and 11 and the chunk of uh, work in 11 is in Glen Park. Um, you know, just when seminary goes past Wichita. So uh, that that's what I'm here to hear about and just to listen and learn. Thank you. Welcome. Councilmember Martinez, uh, you want to say hi? I'm Rachel Adiano. I'm Councilwoman's District Director. So just want to thank everybody for joining this evening. So I, I serve um, on behalf of Councilwoman Martinez. So I'm her District Director. So thanks everyone for being here. Okay, thank you. Uh, the purpose of this meeting is to provide a project scope and proposed improvements and also to provide upcoming construction and schedule. On the agenda, we'll go over the uh, project overview, summary of improvements, uh, construction information, proposed construction schedule, and at the end, we'll have, uh, we'll answer and address any questions that you may have. On the project overview, we have uh, the, this project being that it's a bond project. It's also includes water department funding. The bond streets are as follows. We have Burton as highlighted in yellow. Uh, also, we have a portion of East Davis from Arizona to Louisiana. We have Glencrest from Old Man's Field to East Line. We have Kellis from Paris to uh, Nolan. We have Paris Street from Kellis to Mansfield Highway. And we have East Seminary from Paris to the, to the dead end at the East End. The Water Department, in addition to this uh, bond project, will be including segments such as East Davis from Epps to Arizona, uh, Gypsy Gulch from Fairway to Timberline, Kellis from Nolan to Fairfax, Nolan from Kellis to Seminary, and Seminary from Wichita to Paris. Uh, Kellis, it's a weird little intersection, but they end at Paris. Some of the summary of improvements uh, include the following. Uh, all these streets will be getting uh, existing uh, upgrades to their water main with uh, Glencrest uh, getting the upgrade to sewer. Here you can see Davis a little closer up also on here you could see uh, Glencrest. These streets will all be getting new concrete paving with uh, concrete curbs and concrete driveways with 11 foot minimum. Or if it's a little wider, we'll be matching the existing. And we'll be installing sidewalks on at least one side with a section of Gypsy Gulch from uh, 
east line to our with the section of Gypsy or Glencrest from Gypsy Gulch, we'll be getting sidewalk on two sides. Um, and that's from Old Man's Field to Gypsy Gulch. The uh, continuing the Bond Streets, the next segment uh, is Kellis, Paris, and East Seminary. These will be getting upgrades to the existing water line up to eight inch. All of these streets will be concrete paving with con brand new concrete curbs, new concrete driveways with a minimum 11 foot or matching existing and uh, new five foot side sidewalks on at least one side with the, ex with, uh, the segment of Kellis and Paris getting, getting sidewalk on both sides. The water funded improvements inclu include uh, East Davis, as shown here. They will be getting an upgrade of the water to eight inch and uh, Gypsy Gulch will also be getting improvements with um, sewer only. There's no water in the street. Both of these streets will be getting uh, brand new asphalt. Other improvements include included are Kellis, Nolan, and East Seminary from Wichita to Paris. These will be getting uh, upgrades to the existing water line to eight inch, with the exception of Nolan. It, Nolan will be getting an increase to uh, twelve inch. The pavement for these uh, water funded streets will be asphalt pavement new asphalt pavement. Some of the existing condition, as you can see in East Seminary, that's damaged asphalt, missing curb and gutter. Uh, Paris, it's missing, uh, or not missing, I'm sorry. The uh, asphalt's broken up pretty bad. And on Kellis, you can see the damaged asphalt and several of the uh, curb and gutters heaved. And in Burton, you can also see the uh, poor condition of the asphalt. Some construction information. How will you know construction starting? Prior to construction, we'll be putting out a uh, door hanger seven days prior to construction some some residents may have already received this uh, and the day prior to construction you receive a second notice that construction begins tomorrow will your water be turned off the water will be turned off temporarily once they uh, transfer the exist the water services to the temporary main this temporary main will be used while the new main is uh, being replaced, or the existing main is being replaced with the new main. And the contractor will knock on your door and let you know that your water will be turned off. How does the temporary line impact my home water bill? Uh, you won't be without water. Uh, the water shutdown, as mentioned in the previous slide, will only be temporary, but while we do this, your bill will be uh, averaged on your previous month's usage. Do you replace the water service line up to my house? Unfortunately, we do not. We replace the water service up to the meter and from the meter to the house is the property owner or resident's responsibility and from the meter to the street is the city's responsibility. If you see water running down the street, don't, don't turn it off. Uh, we, we need the water running for cleaning and also to uh, verify that the water is uh, safe to consume. Uh, we'll need to take consecutive uh, bacteriological test in order to verify this. And in winter months, oops, sorry, 
in the winter months, we'll keep the water running to keep the wa water from freezing since it's the pipeline is at the surface. And in the hotter months, we'll have the water running to avoid um, taste issues. Will we need access to your property? If we need access to your property, we'll contact you. Will your sewer service be disrupted? No, your service will not be disrupted. Your sewer service will not be disrupted during construction. What part of the sewer line are the customer's responsibility? Similar to what I mentioned in the water, uh, with the water meter, um, we have the uh, clean out. Typically, we put it at the property line. Uh, if it's necessary, we'll put it in the sidewalk if you have a structure or a wall obstructing it. But from the clean out into the, into the city main, typically the street in this situation, is the city's responsibility. From the clean out to the property and or business is the property owner's responsibility. Will construction act? Will construction affect my irrigation? Yes, it will affect your irrigation. The con the contractor will need to ask you to turn your system your irrigation system on so they can find the sprinkler heads, and cap off any lines that they may need to modify. All this will be done at the city's expense. Are you getting? New concrete curb, gutter, and sidewalks. Um, concrete curbs will be replaced on all bond funded streets within the project. Broken portions of existing curb and gutter will be replaced by the water department funded streets. No new curb and gutter will be installed on the water department section. Also, if your driveway is to be replaced, the city will only replace the part of the driveway that is this that is within the city's right of way. We re refer to this as the apron or drive approach. The city does not replace the driveway from the street to your garage. And new concrete sidewalks are also included in a majority of the bond funded streets. Will you be able to access your driveway? During construction, there will be times when uh, you'll be unable to access your driveway. You will not have access to the driveway when the pavement is being placed directly in front of your property and when your driveway itself is being replaced. We do ask that you wait until the contractor lets you know that it's uh, appropriate for you to drive on the driveway and the road for that matter because what happens is if you do drive on it prematurely it will cause the concrete to break uh prematurely and it'll be in as bad or worse condition than before we tore it out what happens if my property is damaged the contractors will be taking lots of pictures. I will be out there taking lots of pictures uh, for various reasons. And we also ask of you, if your property has been damaged, to take those pictures and submit them to us. If it's the contractor's response, if the contractor is found responsible, it'll be the, to the responsibility of the contractor to, to correct the matter. Will there be lane closures? There will be lane closures when the contractor is installing the water and sewer lines and when the uh, streets being prepared for paving. Signs will be posted. The hours of construction are from 7 to 6, Monday through Friday, and if requested by the contractor uh, on Saturdays from 9 to 5. We do not work on holidays and we do not work on Sundays. Will the city's trash truck be able to pick up my trash and recycling during construction? Yes. Uh, they, you, they will be able to pick up your recycle bins. Um, the contractor will move it to the other side of the road if it's the opposite side that's uh, 
if it's your side that's been that's inaccessible and then after they collect it they'll move your bins back to your property how do i report emergency or non-emergency the city has an app the mike fort worth app as seen on the right hand side of your uh screen it is android and apple friendly and can be downloaded from the app store and google play this you can report anything from um code violations on your neighbors um broken uh or damaged um fill in the blank also um issues with animals and etc some construction phasing that we planted uh that uh how it's done typical to what we do prior to fixing the road we'll install the utilities first we'll go in the uh, sewer and the water as seen in the middle and left hand pictures and when the utility work is done they'll come back and pave a temporary patch on the surface so you can drive freely without damaging your vehicle and this does not mean we're they're done and gone this is this is until they mobilize with the paving crew and then rip up the entire paving when they come back to to demo the paving it'll uh they'll demo and compact the paving similar to what you see on the left hand side in the middle of your screen they'll set up their forms and their steel and then on the right hand side you'll see them finally installing the uh concrete for typical asphalt construction uh curb and gutter will go first then they'll demo the road and compact it and then uh, lastly they'll put in the asphalt uh, and pave it with the asphalt when it's finished as you can see in this slide on the left hand side you can see brand new asphalt on the right hand side you see what the finished product is for concrete if you're getting new sidewalks the sidewalk installation will look similar to what you see here and on the right hand side uh, new ADA ramps the schedule for construction uh, they're planning to start September 9th a week from yesterday and they'll continue in uh, Burton in October Glencrest in November Gypsy Gulch in January East Seminary in, will be begin in February Kellis in March Paris in May and Nolan in May with anticipated uh, construction to be finished by October 2025 Where can you get more information on the project? Uh, if you go to the city's webpage uh, and enter the link for Glencrest and do the search for Glencrest Civic League Street Improvements, or you can simply type in the project number. The project number is 104242. Either one will pull up the webpage for this project and, get, and we'll give you updates monthly on uh, the progress as we progress during the construction activities. Uh, my contact information is here. Uh, also, my inspector, uh, his name is Victor. He, he's my eyes and ears in the field, and he's there daily um, and um, will communicate um i don't go to the field as often as the inspector is um as there's other tasks that the inspector does and i do within this project and other projects but as mentioned my inspector is the eyes and ears in the field and daily boots on the ground and that's it that's all my question uh if you have any questions feel free to place them in the chat
I see the uh, link to the web page has also been included in the chat for anyone who wants to copy and save it. Okay, so now if anybody has any questions, feel free to unmute yourself and go ahead and ask the question. Alternatively, you can place your question in the chat and we will get to those as well. I've placed my contact information up here if you think of something after the fact. And just to let everyone know, this meeting is being recorded. Uh, so afterwards, we're going to place this on the city's YouTube page and on the project website. So you'll be able to watch again if you would like. Thank you. That that speaking was uh, Greg Robbins, another city of Fort Worth employee, and my manager. Please share the Glencrest information again. Okay, uh, the Glencrest information, is this what you were looking for? Or were you looking more for the, uh, the, the uh, what construction was planned? I believe the resident is looking for the planned construction on her street. Okay. Where's Glencrest? Is this one here. Here we go. Glencrest does have uh, water and sewer. Both of these will be replaced. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Just a reminder, you'll need to unmute yourself. Uh, Jose, there's another question about Glencrest um, and the sidewalks. So in which sides of the street will be getting sidewalks? So um, Glencrest, uh, Glencrest will be getting sidewalks on on both sides of the street from uh, Old, Old Man's Mansfield Field. to Gypsy Gulch, and then the rest of the way, it'll be on one side of the street to East Line. Which side? Which side? Um, I believe it is on the south side of the street. I can double check for you, though. I think it was the north side that's getting it. If that, if memory serves me right, let me look at the plans real quick. Uh, it's Gypsy Gulch. Would one of the representatives from the engineering consultant uh, be able to answer that quickly? There we go. Yeah, it's on the north side. And that's between Gypsy Gulch and East Line. You're welcome. Any other questions? You're welcome to unmute yourself and voice your question, or you can put it in the chat. Meanwhile, let me jump to my contact information. In case you didn't get it, there it is. Thank you, guys. This is a great presentation. Thank you. Any other questions for anybody?
Okay, if there's no other questions, uh, that concludes my presentation. Thank you everybody for joining. And like Greg mentioned, we'll be posting this on the city YouTube page as well as the um, the city website. Thank you very much.